Well, hello everybody. How you guys doing today? It is November 3rd, 2023, and we are going to take, oh, I'm gonna take a spill. We're gonna take a walk down to Grout Creek, or down Grout Creek a little bit, because we haven't done that yet, because there was too much water in here earlier in the season with nice, beautiful waterfalls coming out of this area. So we're just gonna take a walk down the creek and see what's going on. Hope everyone's doing well today. If you guys like what I do and the effort I put into this, please hit the like and subscribe button. It's really helpful. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, let's move forward. So yeah, once again, we are right here. We are in Fonskin, California. This is in the Big Bear, California area. Fonskin's just on the other side of the lake. So here we go. I kind of feel like we're in the movie Stand By Me right now, but there's no train tracks. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. This is gonna be one of the last really warm days. Looks like we got a bunch of cooling coming. Temperatures are gonna be uh, topping out in the mid 50s for the next week or so. Low temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s. So we do have some pretty good changes coming. Holy smoke, this is hot. The sun is pounding. It'll be nice when this bad boy's flowing again because uh, we are losing lake level rapidly. I shouldn't have worn this beanie, it's really hot. Well, while we're doing this, I just want to show you guys real quick another short, short promo for the merchandise and the website launch, all that stuff. It's really short. I think maybe 25 seconds. Your guys' opinion would mean the world to me. Check it out. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you love it. So what did you guys think? I'm so proud of what we're doing, you guys. And all of this is because you guys, for the longest time, have been asking me for merchandise. And you know what? I know it took eight and a half years, but we didn't rush anything. We wanted to make sure everything was right. You guys are what this channel is all about. So no point in rushing something like that. I think we got some good stuff coming in terms of the promos and stuff like that. We've got some amazing merchandise, guys. Like, lots of our hoodies are made from Champion and stuff like that. Like, it's good quality stuff. All right, so we're coming up to the water here. Gosh, it's such a gorgeous day today. My goodness. I always forget how high up we are because lots of times when there's not a cloud in the sky up here, it's super cloudy down the mountain. Okay. I don't know if I can get a 
across there. I can, I just don't want to walk on anyone's property here. So we're gonna just, I am so not agile, not graceful. But yeah, guys, the water used to come up to here and that's what we want to happen again. another dock right here sitting on the dock of the lake I mean guys there's a long way to go for our lake to be full I know seven or eight nine feet doesn't seem like a lot but Still a long way to go. We're gonna need another really beautiful wet winter. Due to El Nino, my prediction, if the El Nino pans out, because they're always talking El Nino, El Nino, El Nino. If it pans out, you guys, we're gonna get a lot more rain up here than we do snow. That's just a guarantee. And the reason is, is because we're usually on the snow line anyway for storms, the snow and rain line. So if we get El Nino storms, those are storms that are warmer. And when those come through here, it's gonna be warmer. So it's gonna be probably rain. Where we end up getting snow often is on the back end of these storms. Once the cold front pushes through, then it'll transition from rain to snow. But if it's gonna be an El Nino year, we're gonna get a lot of rain and not so much snow. which is kind of a bummer because you guys know how much I love the snow. Now this is a, a neat little, I'm afraid to walk back here because of quicksand. And no one knows that I'm back here. Look at this beautiful little inlet here. Oh, just super stagnant water. Just a, just a playground for mosquitoes. What a cool area though, huh? Never been over here. I'm gonna see if we can walk around this other side. I like exploring new places with you guys. Because you never know what you're gonna get. This is about as far as we can go. Sure is pretty though. Well guys, this is as well. Yeah, I think this is as far as we can go unless we had uh, some waterproof, some big, big, tall waterproof boots to walk through there and go across there. That'd be kind of cool. Actually, I could probably sneak over to the other side here. It's just really steep on that end. I've got the worst balance. But again, look at these, these docks just... Such a bummer 
for these people who probably spent a nice amount of money to have their homes right on the lake. It's it's got to be a major impact on uh, on the value of the property. It's just sad, but you know, it's uh, the owners can't get too upset because there are graphs that show. I mean, every eight to ten years or seven to ten years, it's a repeat. Our lake does the same thing over and over again. The graph is like a it's it's just a a beautiful up and down, up and down, up and down every seven to ten years. We should be coming out of something which we did last year, and it should be getting better this year. So keep your fingers crossed. That tall mountain right there on the far left, that's San Gorgonio. That's the tallest peak in Southern California. I believe it's 11,555 feet. But I have been wrong, I think once in my life, once per five minutes. So clearly there's another little waterfall right here when it's when we have our wet season. So it'd be kind of cool to get out here, but I know that'd be difficult. This was Grout Creek. Of course, Grout Creek goes all the way this direction, way up the mountain. But I just want to show you where it lets off into the lake. In a weird way, I feel like I'm walking the LA River. <laughs> Been there, done that. Back when times were not as good they could be better right now too but you know got to be grateful for what we have right guys absolutely gratitude is very important Wish you all could be here with me. It's so peaceful, so relaxing. I do gotta get back to work though. And then I'll show you guys where this lets out when we walk up the hill so you guys know exactly where it is in the fawn skin area. It's very easy, you guys. Very easy to find. You just, uh, it's 
right next to the real estate office, right across from that big barn looking building. Again, in the wintertime, it's just, it's marvelous back here, you guys. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to walk down here, but this is, I wanna say our, our best waterfall in town when we got water flowing. It is gorgeous, you know, we're gonna walk up this side and take a look down from the top of the bridge. Oh, some animal just went hauling butt. Okay, so here's the post office to your left. If you're coming from that way, it's to your right. <laughs> You'll be crossing this bridge, which is the, the Grout Creek Bridge. This is what we just walked. This whole area. All right, y'all. And again, it goes all the way up that way. We just did the best part of it to see what runs off into the lake, but thank you guys for being here. Thank you for sharing this first time experience with me. Um, again, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. I've got like 3,300 videos. I work very hard at this and it helps a lot. So I appreciate you guys very much. And uh, yeah, just thank you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Happy Friday to everybody. And uh, yeah, by the way, I always look forward to meeting you guys too. Um, I, 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 it makes me nervous. I love meeting you guys. So when you're up here, hit me up. Most likely I'll be able to at least come shake your hand. I would love to do that. So hit me up. Don't, don't be shy. We're a family. I love you guys a lot. Take care. And until next time, folks, until next time, November 3rd, baby. You guys, I forgot. So I showed you the post office and now you'll see the little fire department right there. This is the real estate company. It's closed, but that big red building right there, right there. You can't miss that building. Where we're standing is, there's a little road right here. This is where you wanna go. You wanna turn left here, it's called Seminole Drive. And just, um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to park here. I don't see any no, no parking signs and the business is closed, but I don't want anyone to get a ticket. I, I wanna be a good example. So anyway, I love you guys. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.